My name is uh, Jake Kinsey. I'm from Palatine, Illinois, which is right next to Arlington Heights, um, it's a suburb of Chicago. Um, I've been playing with Legos since I was two. Some of the first memories I have of mere existing is playing with Legos. Um, and I started playing with Mindstorms when I was 11. I got my first NXT set uh, a year ago about. I've been hooked ever since. I built this car uh, for NI Week. Um, this car is pretty cool. It's a uh, four-wheel drive, four-wheel independent suspension. Um, each suspension is actually tunable, if you can get a good shot of that right there. I can uh, move that with my finger. The next version, that's going to be automated. Um, there's going to be a four degree of freedom uh, linear switch, so the robot will be able to tune it in each wheel's uh, right height in real time. But uh, I didn't get that implemented quite in time. Um, so it's also got a huge power pack here out back, and that goes uh, the an axle shaft to uh, my transmission. Uh, it's, it's a bi-stable transmission. It's got two gears. Um, it has, it's, it's really nifty. Um, you see in there now, it's, that's actually it's in high gear right now. And then when this moves over, it's in um, low gear. But if you, it's, it may be hard to see, but it's not actually fully engaged at this point. But there you go. You see after it rotates like a millimeter or two, the spring pushes the, uh, pushes the teeth into the uh, other, other, other plate, which is what allows it to trans, uh, transmit power. So this has a whole range of sensors on it as well. Uh, front is the main sensor rack right here. Um, many of the sensors are from Hitechnic. That's uh, www.hitechnic.com. Here we have uh, an acceleration sensor. Uh, this sensor, this one right here hasn't been released yet. Um, it's an EOPD, stand, EOPD it's sensor. Out of that one. Yeah, EOPD sensor. It stands for electro-optical proximity, proximity detector to detect distance by reflected light. Um, and here also we have a color sensor. Um, and this is a ultrasonic sensor. These three sensors here up top are from Hitechnic. This is a, a stock uh, sensor from the retail NXT Mindstorms kit. Um, also, uh, we have some more sensors here. We have a, a gyro um, and a compass sensor. And the compass is so you can tell where you're going in the gyro so it knows how it's turning. Um, these are also from Hitechnic. Um, right here we have a sound sensor. And this sound sensor is mounted right over the transmission. And the reason why it's there is, is it's designed to um, monitor the health of the transmission. If it encounters some sort of a failure, it can automatically shut off its motors. Um, so did you add that because one time it? Uh, I added that because I was like, apart, yeah, actually it shot it itself. Just... It shot itself apart like twice, and then I fixed it mechanically. And then I was like, you know, I'm just gonna put a sensor there, so just in case it happens again, I, I don't want that to happen again. But you know, it's, it's a it's a great thing to have anyway. You know, um, so yeah, four it's four wheel drive. Um, we have three differentials. It's tri differential, four wheel drive. This differential acts as the transfer case, and uh, power comes in through that and goes to the front and back differentials, and then uh, to each wheel. Um, so I was, um, I'm really involved in the first LEGO League. Uh, I participated as a competitor in the first LEGO League for five years. Um, last year, the, the last year we competed, which was the 2004-2005 season, um, the team I captained, Team Code, um, took state um, in Illinois, and then we went on to international competition down at the World Festival in Atlanta, and uh, we took 10th. Um, so I, I've been like questing for the perfect, perfect LL, FLL bot. I always, you know, try to bring it up a notch. And so then I came up with this. Um, this right here is, uh, is basically my premium FLL bot. Um, and what makes this bot special um, is it has a little transmission inside it. So, and a module arm, but I'll get there in a moment. So it's got three motors, right? It's got one here, one in the middle, one on the other side. The motor in the middle pulls the other two motors down to engage the, to the wheels or pushes those two motors up to engage the arm. This way, two degrees of freedom can be affected for an arm. Most FLL bots just have a motor for the left, a motor for the right, and a motor for an arm, and it, that arm usually ends up being a glorified stick. So, this really kicks it up a notch. Um, it has some other really nifty features. Um, one feature is, is that when it's in arm mode, which it is now, this locking mechanism comes down upon the wheels so that they won't move. So this way, if you're picking something up or moving something around, you know that you are where you are when you stop, when you stop moving. Um, we have a uh, sensor package. I, out front, courtesy of iTechnic. Those sensors aren't currently allowed in the competition, but you know, it's a modular sensor. I can just pull that off and everything's nice and wonderful. Um, so it has a modular bay for the arm, and uh, I brought you know, a whole slew of arms right here. This is a, just a simple demonstration arm. It's a crane. It's, it has, its uh, two functions are, you know, moves the uh, claw up and down and then rotates. Um, again, there's the Gatling gun that was requested for NI Week. And, uh, there, each one of these are these little launchers, and they fire these these little darts. These little darts uh, go into their little launchers, and when you push this lever on the back, 
um, this way, it, uh, it launches. So I'm not gonna shoot you, but you know, it moves past the cam and then it fires. So that's how it uh, fires. And then um, its, it's secondary function is uh, rotation, azimuth. Um, so then I have one more arm. This arm is my favorite arm of all time. Um, it's what we call the uh, dual screw arm. Um, and uh, the point is that there's two screws. Each screw is connected to an input um, from the transmission. And uh, there's a gear that floats in between these two screws. So when these screws rotate in the same direction, the gear moves up and down. But when they rotate in the opposite direction, they rotate. So this way you can have a forklift and a conventional rotary arm on the same package. And this, that's, that's, that's very critical for FLL because oftentimes you end up deciding, oh, I want a forklift or I want a conventional arm. This way you get to have both in the same package. And also because um, each of these outputs is, you know, goes directly to a motor, you have very fine control over, over the, you know, the speed of each screw. So that way you can do complex motions that are you know, somewhere in between. So you can really uh, get a lot out of the robot. These little bots, they shoot what they, they're called Xamor spheres. They're basically like these little, uh, these little plastic marbles. That looks like a bionicle hybrid? Yeah, bionicle, yeah. And um, it has, it, they're like these little battle bot sort of things. And there's a, uh, this, this bumper out front, if it's bumped, the robot stops and you lose. So the idea is you try to hit the other person's bumper. And you can do that either by ramming into them or by shooting them with Xamor spheres. And this shoots about a Xamorosphere about every half second or so. It just, it really gets them out there. And especially for something that's uh, this small in size. Um, so yeah, th those robots are remote control. And you know, I still have to like fix some of this up a little bit, but this is the remote control and this little touch sensor is the fire button. So this way, you know, you get to control the robot 